Welcome back, um, part two for my three month uh, home and video somehow. Um, I was talking about my father and just how he overcame an illness and and yes, that was an example of the use of the secrets. Um, by the way, um, it's not the exclusivity of this video, the secrets just is known um, it's not that much a secret I believe it's called a secret because um, some people are blind to it some people just can't um, consider it somehow or perhaps it, that it was never taught as just um, as directly as generally it's taught in a complicated way so you can't really see it uh, you can't really see the principle of it and so um, let me get my thoughts uh, yes so I decided I was going to use the secret as well what did I want in life? What do I want in life now? What? Uh, okay, a feminine body. Hey, I'm transsexual, and I. And this is what I want. And I cultivated that idea, and I still do. Um, not as much as uh, as I should. But it gave me confidence, nevertheless. I can't really see results now. I don't try to spot any immediate results. But that I give me six months for, to achieve uh, uh, something better. And hopefully with a hormone this will be easy. Because if I didn't take two hormones, um, achieving a feminine shape of my body would be much harder because faith wouldn't be there as as much as it is. So, um, we'll see how it goes, but for now, I'm quite, um, I'm more proud of my body somehow, I'm less ashamed of it, um, except in the special area, but um, let's not talk about this yet. Um, I feel quite proud of my body and I don't feel the need anymore to just, um, you might find it silly, but for me, uh, I wear bra um, 24 hours a day, a padded bra 24 hours a day. Just at night, it was um, padding, better suited for night. But now I don't anymore at night because uh, I hormones gave me some breasts, even if they are quite small for the moment, and so let them grow at night and for the day I can't do without because uh, it will be too much of I need I need a little bit of something um, for the day so this is about it and uh, a reason why I didn't make any more videos during that time was because I'm reading a lot, a lot, a lot of stories and I just drown myself in those stories. Um, it's a top shelf at bigcloseter.us. I'll give you a link of that. Uh, I should just write down what link should I give you? Anyway, I'll remember. <coughs> Free evenings for now. Um, so, so. These two just made me feel... Th these are transgender stories, but... Um, it's not interesting because it's transgendered. Well, it is, but not. it's not that much. Um, I'm seeking transgender uh, stories, but I'm seeking stories about uh, young person, young people, 
we just discover life. Uh, young girls, transgender or not, who discovered life, because that's exactly what I'm doing now, and reading that make me... Well, I want to read about what I'm feeling right now, and that's, that's I, what I do. And so, reading all these stories, uh, I just came to just um, badly wanting my operation done. You see, I'm pre-op yet, and I really, really, really do want to be passed up. Um, why? Why there are many reasons. One of them is that I would feel less ashamed of my body and I will feel really comfortable and at ease in my body. This will be my home for all life and this will make it comfortable. So this is a reason. Another reason is I seem to be uh, uh, attracted to guys and I just can't imagine um, starting a relationship, a serious relationship um, without my operation don't nice. Um, so for me it's kind of a, something that blocks me in public relations well, public <laughs> uh, that blocks me um, relating to other people because <coughs> I would like to start a relationship um, I'm, I give it time, because uh, now I'm not in a context where I meet um, a lot of people and I feel comfortable talking with them. Um, and just um, so that's basically it. So I spotted Dr. Sapon in Thailand. Great. And you know what? This night I dreamed I was operated. It took me only one day. No recovery, it was perfect already. Uh, that's a dream. That's a dream. Um, the result were, was perfect somehow. Um, at least the look, it looks like it was okay. And um, the problem is that because I had no time recovering in a hospital, uh, I had no time to just learn how to take care of my new body. And because you know, dilatation and all that you must do, and I had no clue about it, what am I gonna do? <laughs> that's what I thought, and that's when, when I woke, woke up this morning. So, it was a pleasant dream, but somehow a little bit unpleasant because I didn't know what to do with my new body. So, um, this time I'm really fond of all of this and I wish I could make a trip to Thailand quite soon. Why Thailand? Uh, Dr. Sapon, I will give you the link of his website. Um, why? Because he seems to be the best surgeon I've been aware of. Uh, that's first. Second, in France, it's no go, because in France, uh, no competent surgeon, no one able to do some good work, it seems. So, away from it. And I heard he was the best surgeon surgeon and his techniques um, makes you something that looks okay and feels okay and that's great. Problem is that the recovery is very long. You just have two times two hours uh, dilatation per day which is quite much but I'll manage. I'll practice during that. Time to practice so that's great. So now I want to learn Thai language. Uh, more than that, because today I went um, to a monastery to, um, 
and there were many Thai people speaking in Thai and just I couldn't understand and I've got this um, it was a ceremony for a people that was uh, that passed away in September and this is all Thai no translation I want to to read that but I can't um, so I think I'm going to learn somehow uh, she was named Janine Boitel and and I'm running out of time and that's basically all I wanted to say so if you have any question because I've got anything just ask and goodbye see you next time